Hi, so this is me, I'm Claire and I'm Essential Mum and this is my first video log to, the, to my YouTube channel so nice to meet you. Today's blog is, or vlog, is about the chance to heal from anxiety, depression, emptiness, anger, addictions um, and relationships by hanging out in your heart. So this is something I know quite a bit about, um, especially the anxiety. I've suffered for anxiety for quite a number of years um, and I was very grateful and blessed to be able to come off um, medication through essential oils actually, um, but also doing some work on myself. So that's really what I want to share with you today. So a spiritual healer told me recently that I was hanging out in my head, so I was living in my head and not in my heart. And I kind of snorted the comment off at first, but with reflection I realised that she's completely right, um, and it's not doing me much good. So in truth, my heart is a pretty unfriendly place for me sometimes, so rather than connect with the feelings that I have, I've just been distracting myself in my mind rather than becoming present in my heart. The thing is, if you stay distracted in your left brain thoughts rather than being present in your heart with caring and kindness, you're going to end up with a complete lack of love and respect for yourself and you're effectively abandoning yourself, which leads to a lot of other negative emotions like anger, bitterness and more anxiety. So by avoiding the feelings that are painful, so, you know, whatever's going on in there, in your heart, and the feelings that that gives you, by avoiding those and not compassionately attending to them, you're actually creating other feelings that do not serve you either. So the logical question for me is, who's your worst enemy? Or what's your worst enemy? So what I want to go through now is three ways to identify whether you're abandoning yourself by not being present in your heart. So here's number one. You judge yourself. You judge yourself a hell of a lot or you judge others and you're judging yourself for your feelings, your mistakes, you sweat the small stuff, you sweat the small stuff of others and you feel guilty a lot. The second thing is that you have crutches. So you, take a, uh, you have a glass of wine to take the edge off, um, you smoke, you hide behind the screen of a computer or a phone playing games on chat, you eat anything but connect with those feelings in your heart. However, instead of making you feel connected when you're behind the screen on the chat or drinking that glass of wine, you actually just end up feeling alone and isolated. The third way, and this is a big one, you look to others to make you feel okay. So you're sick, so the doctor has to give you a pill to make you better, even though there's things that you can do yourself to make yourself feel better. Or you make others, others responsible for making you safe, secure, worthy, happy. You look to them for almost, I don't know, affirmation that, that you're okay. You spend a lot of energy trying to control others and can get them to love you um, rather than learning to love yourself and this makes you feel anxious, alone, depressed, angry and disconnected. If another person was to treat you in those ways, so if another person was to judge you, if another person was to keep looking at you to make them okay, if another person was, I don't know, avoiding you by sitting in front of a computer or, or playing with games on their phone. How would that make you feel? Because for me, when I think about it, I just get the feeling of being unloved, um, I'm unimportant, I'm abandoned. So this is important as parents because if we're treating ourselves like that by not hanging out in our heart, this is the way our children will learn to treat themselves because they mirror us and our behavior and what we do. So my question to you today is what do you need to do to stop abandoning yourself and start learning to love yourself? And what's that one thing that you can start with right now? So I'm letting you think. Okay. Have you come up with something? If you've drawn a blank, that's okay. It's a big thing. But if you're ready to start hanging out in your heart, this is something that I'm inviting you to do with me in a safe, productive way. So give me a call or go along to my website and book in 
um, a free discovery 30 minutes with me and I'll call you um, either by Skype or over phone. So that's a 30 minute discovery session completely free and I'm offering that out to you today. So my website is www.essentialmum.wordpress.com and um, hope to speak to you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.